Linda Fields. Good morning, morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Linda. This is my wonderful husband. Oh. I got the ticket. He was driving my car. Oh. I'm not guilty. Oh. He is. <laughs> <laughs> let, me exp- let me explain what happened. I, can't I get wait. the ticket in the mail, and I go, what's this? He says, just pay it. I said, what happened? He says, I'm at the corner of Eddie and Dudley, and I turned right on a yellow light. I I said, you went through a yellow light? He says, yeah. I said, I'm not paying it. We're going to fight this. You have to fight him. Yeah. So So anyway, our son was in the hospital, had a very bad car accident. And he was going there three times a day. So I said, we're going to fight this. So Wednesday, we looked at the video for the first time. And I said, you went through a red light. And so that's where we stand. So you came here today to tell me he's guilty. I'm not guilty. The ticket's in my name. No, I'm I know. not guilty. No, no, I understand that. <clears throat> I said, but you came here today to tell me he's guilty. So the first thing you did was throw him under the bus. <laughs> I'm not throwing myself under. <laughs> you know? So you think he's really guilty, huh? When I looked at that video, if I was a policeman, I would say he was guilty. Guilty. <laughs> me, me too. Raise, raise your right hand. <laughs> I mean, it was a little bit close. A little bit close. I want you to assume that you're a policeman right now, okay? Yeah. We're gonna, you're wearing Inspector Quinn's badge, okay? Okay. <clears throat> and you look at the video, and then you look at the time on the video. Let's see the front face sheet, please. See where it says, see where it says red time? She's going to put an arrow there. Point it's, three? It says point three. You know what that means? No. That means he went through the light when it was red. Three seconds? For three tenths of a second. Oh, three tenths. So it was close. <laughs> well, you just said he's definitely guilty. I'm trying to explain to you. Now I'm... Three tenths of a second? That's not much. All right. Now, let me finish. Okay. Do you go through this every day? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> We've been happily married for 43 years, right? Yes, dear. <laughs> You know, uh, <laughs> when my wife and I meet people, they usually they'll say, how long have you been married? And I say, we've been happily married for five years. <laughs> now, my wife is young look- much younger looking than I am. But even though, so They say, oh, you've been happily married for five years. Is she your second or third wife? I say, oh, no, we've been married 50 years. We've been happily married for five. <laughs> but you've been, ha- you've been happily married for how long? Almost 43 years. 43 years. All right, now I'm going to make you a judge, okay? Here's, okay. Here you are. Can I call you Linda? You don't mind being called. Linda, that's fine. All right, Linda, here's the deal. You're the judge, and the the statute that set up this offense allows two-tenths of a second to get through the light, and they don't charge you. Okay. Hmm. Missed it by one. (laughs) One One-tenth. And how do you you handle this case? It's three-tenths of a second. Do you give him the benefit of the doubt, right? Or do you say, hey, three-tenths, pay the fine. What do you do? I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Because it's your husband. And he has to take me to dinner. Oh. <laughs> That's the deal. Well, I have to agree with her, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> it's been my custom. It's been, it's been my policy, in effect. I. Without the city coming in and proving the calibration, I think the difference between two-tenths of a second and three-tenths of a second is so small, right, that I usually, usually give the benefit of the doubt, right, particularly when they come in with some high, high-powered defense like you. You don't have to take me to dinner. No, no, I'm not going to take you to dinner. <laughs> okay. I've been happily married for five years. <laughs> Matt is dismissed. Linda's husband has found the secret to a long, successful marriage. 
No, it's not active listening or meaningful walks on the beach or mastering the Kama Sutra. Nope. It's much simpler than that. It's two simple words. We've been happily married for 43 years, right? Yes, dear. <laughs> That's right. The two most important words for a husband to learn are, yes, dear. Repeat that phrase every time she stops talking, and you're good to go. Pro tip, no charge. <laughs>